And my life that time was so messy, miserable. I'm so hopeless. Nandun ako sa kailang lilima ng kasalanan ko na yun. Maybe some of you, isip mo, yan lang ba kasalanan mo, Adrian? Diba? Baka iba sa inyo. You know, I am the living mercy of God. You know why? Ask me why. My past is so dirty. My past is so filthy. As in, grave. You know, 10 years ago, I was a happy, go lucky guy. Katulad ang sinabi ko kanina, I'm living in sin, sinful life, vices, sigarilyo, alak, and premarital sex. Ayan, nakita niyo mga picture niya yan. Yan yung best friend ko eh. Si Colt. Ito pa, yan. Binubuhat ako, di ba? Ito pa, hindi lang makita eh. Pangingi. Alam niyo bakit ko ito pinakikita? Tanong sa akin, bakit? Bakit? kasi nakikita niyo, Brother Adrian, napakahuli mo. Brother Adrian, pakabuti mo. Parang ganun eh, yung first time na ako nakita. Hindi, katulad mo din ako. You know, alam niyo yung tsura ko niya, bakit bakit nabangag ako? Kasi meron akong ginagawa nun eh. Pag inom ako, meron akong sinasabay dyan eh. Alam niyo yung balyong? Pangapang social lang yan. Valium, di ba? Mga pang-artista, di ba? Ang ginagawa ko sa Valium, buwang yung Valium, sikat yun sa university, mga nagbibenta niya niyo. Tapos, didikdikin ko yun, didikdikin ko, tapos sisigmutin ko. Tapos, after nun, high na high ako. Heaven! Heaven talaga. Grabe. Para lumulutang sa langit. You know, I'm still lucky na buhay pa rin ako ngayon. Kasi sobrang delikado pag pinagsabay ang alak at volume. Because pare silang downers. Because it will cause respiratory depress. Parang i-shut down nyo yung respiratory, ano mo, yung lungs mo. Then, afternoon, I will make out, make out with different women. Just to have sex, then after that, parang walang nangyari. You know, alam nyo bakit ko yung ginagawa? Tanong sa akin, bakit? Gusto ko kasi makalimot sa problema ko. I was so broken. Broken man. Kulang ako sa pansin. Alam nyo, sobrang pain yung pinagdadaanan ko. Sobrang hatred, anger sa puso ko. Na gusto ko makalimutan lahat ng yun. And because of that, I, w- I want to destroy myself. And no mga tayo na to, malapit na rin ako maging tatay. Kasi buntis yung girlfriend ko nun. Malapit ang ipanganak si Rian. And then, nung pinanganak na siya, nag-live-in kami nung, nung mother niya. We're living a sinful life. You know, I was drowning in a... In a in, in 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 a sin and my bayabang ako arrogante ako nung ayoko makinig in my worst nightmare happened god humbled me nung tuloy na kami maghiwalay yung mother niya kinuha ni lord yung taong pinang hahawakan ko natanggal ako sa trabaho kinuha ni lord yung future ko i was humbled by god and my life that time was so messy, miserable. I'm so hopeless. Nandun ako sa kailang lilima ng kasalanan ko na yun. Maybe some of you, isip mo, yan lang ba kasalanan mo, Adrian? Diba? Baka iba sa inyo. Diba? Mas malala pa. Pero, yun sa akin, yun yung experience ko. Diba? Kasi nung malita ko eh, yung mga magulang ko binibigay lahat sa akin. 
hindi ako naka-experience ng, mahi- ng, ng mahirap na buhay. Hindi naman kami mayaman, sumidal lang. So, gusto ko lahat, parang kaya hindi naupo ako madali. Hindi ako na-disiplina ng maayos. You know, so tuloy-tuloy yung kasalanan ko na yun. After maghiwalay kami, after nagsaserve lang ako sa Feast Bay area nun eh. Magkikipag-primarital sex pa din ako nun. And you know, I remember a friend of mine gave me a chaplet. Binigay niya akong chaplet. Alam niya yung chaplet? Divine Mercy. Alam niya Divine Mercy. Ito yun, no? Pumunta kami last Sunday dito, eh. Sa Marilaw, Bulacan yan. Binigyan niya akong chaplet kasi Divine Mercy, alam niyo yung picture ni Jesus. Diba? Tapos nakalagay, Jesus, I trust in you. Bigyan ko lang yung konting background, bakit ganun? Ang Divine Mercy, nagpakita si, si Jesus kay Sister Faustina at sinabi niya, na print mo yung itsurang nakita mo. At yun yung nakita niya, pinirate niya yun. Yun yung mismo nakita ni Sister Faustina na nagpakita sa kanya si Jesus. Alam niyo, noong una, hindi ko pinapansin yun. Di ba yung mercy? Tinapon ko pa, ano ba ito? Di ba? Parang ordinary booklet, some re- religious stuff. Boring! Tama! Then one fateful night, ito yung nagbago talaga sa akin. Yung down na down na ako, parang Lord. Kasi deep inside, parang may nagsasabi sa puso ko, na kailangan mo nang bag- magbago. You know, tulala ako, tapos nakita ko doon sa altar namin, yung chaplet na yun. Na parang may nagsasabi sa akin, buksan mo. And then, pumunta ako. And then, binuksan ko. Alam niyo, pag bukas ko, ano yung bumungad sa akin? Sabi doon, sinabi nito ni Jesus kay Sister Faustina, Ang sabi doon, the greater the sinner, the greater the right he has to my mercy. And, and I was so blown away that moment. Hindi ko maintindihan, I was kneeling and crying to God. Parang Lord, Sobrang kasalanan ko. Tinanggap at minamahal mo pa rin ako. I was in the mercy seat of God at that moment. And I experienced His overflowing mercy in spite of my kadumihan, kagaguhan, kalandian. God poured out His unconditional love in my life. You know, I started to receive His mercy right at that moment. I repent and accept Jesus at that moment. And that decision changed my life 360 degrees. That's why I'm the living mercy of God. Ginawa niya pa akong creature. You know, friends, today I have a very important question for you. What is destroying you? If you have seen right now that is destroying your life for the longest time, nagtataka ka bakit walang nangyayari sa buhay mo. Nagtataka ka bakit parang kulang ka. Maybe God brought you here in this place to tell you this is the perfect time to repent and confess your sin before God. And your Father is patiently waiting for you right at this moment. Alam nyo, bago ko gawin tong talk na to, ang daming oppression nangyayari sa akin, ang daming, uh, as in, attack. Because this is all about repentance. You know, God is faithful and just and will forgive us on our sin and purify us from all unrighteousness. If you're ready to 
accept the repentance of God right now. Could you, could you please raise your hand? If you're ready. And let's pray this prayer. I thank you, Lord, for fresh feeling, fresh anointing. And right now, we are being filled with your healing mercy. We don't believe on the lie that you left us. We don't believe on the lie that you changed your mind about us. Lord Jesus, we have victory in your name, healing in your, in your name, peace in your name, joy in your name, mercy in your name. All these things are ours because of the kingdom is here. We worship you right now. We magnify you. We bless you. We worship you. We honor you. Holy Spirit, minister to your people right now. Right now, touch their heart. We believe that you are capable. You are mighty. You are present. You are an ever-present help. You are our Jehovah Shammah. The Lord who has so many names. That you call yourself the great I Am. God, would you be that moment, be that to them. We thank you because we, you are our deliverer, our healer, our way maker. Fill your people right now, Lord Jesus. Fill them with your mercy. Receive God's mercy today, brothers and sisters. God is doing a great work in your life. God is changing your heart. God is changing your soul right now. He loves you so much. That kahit ano pang nagawa mong kasalanan, God is bigger than your sin. When sin abound, grace abound even more. Hi! Thank you for watching. Na-bless ka ba sa vlog kong to? So kung na-bless ka, please like, share, and mag-comment ka sa baba ng video na to. And you may also subscribe on my YouTube channel and click the bell button para lagi ka updated sa mga new content na gagawin ko. At pakilike ang aking page, Brother Adrian Milag. At para sa mga libreng ebook and training na galing sa akin, punta ka lang sa website ko sa www.adrianmilag.net. It's been Adrian Milag encouraging you to live your life to the fullest. God bless you more abundantly.